Hello, so I've done a previous video which was basically creating QR codes outside Advanced Steel or AutoCAD and just pasting them onto your PDF, which is really what I like to do because it's the easiest way to change them afterwards. You can just delete it off the PDF and add a new one if you update it uh, for now. Um, so but this is another way if people choose to do it this way. So what you can do is, uh, if you open the browser, and if you go into the App Store, you can see, just Google QR codes in the Autodesk App Store. Download this for free. Close your advanced steel and open, and run the file, and then open it again. And then we'll come in here, I'm in my Autodesk drive, and I'll get the link for the model. So I've already uploaded my file here my model to my other desk drive i've got the link so now i've come in here and you can either use up here in, in your uh, taskbar or just do qr by typing qr text and then paste click outside the box you can see that that's turned into a qr code immediately Make this a little smaller and then if you want to do a leader uh, I'm not sure the way to do the leader exactly is I'm not sure it makes a big difference enter options and I'll do none and then let me click on this and we'll make that bigger so you can make the arrow 0.5 so I'm not sure the benefits of this leader line. Uh, I don't think I really would want it, so I would just create a box down in the corner. And then copy that up. And then, uh, the way I do labels sometimes is like this. So insert label. Uh, just pick a piece of steel. Let's do my label. And switch it to that. And scan me. That three eights, get rid of the leader line, explode that, so you could have this down in the corner of your drawing like this, and just group them together, and then move this inside. And then you can do plot and open that and see what it looks like. And there's your document and there's your scan me down at the bottom corner. I uh, hope that helps. That's just another way to do it. I do it the other way myself. But uh, you can do it this way and you can have it in your DWG. Alright, take care.